Well, I really love fishing. Uh, it's something that I enjoy doing on my free time. And it's something that my kids have had a hard time uh, enjoying because of the trash in the, in the, around the area when I take them. And so that's kind of how it started, coming out here to just kind of clean it up for them. Juan Martinez grew up in Canyon County, and he didn't like seeing trash spread all across his community. So every Sunday, you'll find Juan out with his family at Lake Lowell, filling bags with trash. Tonight, Maggie O'Meara takes us along to meet these seven heroes, a family giving back. Right here, we're on Lake Lowell. Beautiful Lake Lowell. It's a place Juan Martinez knows and loves. I remember that when I was a kid, uh, it was... It was something that I enjoyed and it wasn't so, there wasn't so much trash. A few months ago, Martinez started cleaning up that trash and he brought his family with him. So we started at Lake Lowell on the, uh, the Caldwell side of Lake Lowell um, over by the pump house. Uh, we, we, we went down across the, the road there. We ended up getting 25 bags of trash from there to the park. And then now we're over here on the other side of Lake Lowell were the uh, on the Napa side. They as the more I've been doing it, the more that they've started to enjoy coming out. And uh, they, my sister meets me out here, my cousin, his his uh, daughters, um, and then I've had a few families join us as well. Uh, I've posted it on Facebook, and I I've had a few families come out on their spare time and and uh, help clean up. So that's kind of nice. A post I put together on Facebook about Juan and his family went viral. Thousands of likes and hundreds of comments, thanking them for cleaning up our community. I really didn't want the attention, I did, but the, to have the awareness that the trash needs picked up, that's kind of what I was shooting for. So my, my plan is to hit all summer long. Um, I want to get Wilson's Ponds. I want to hit all the, the, the areas around locally that I know of around here. Martinez created a special Facebook page so that people can be a part of the effort. And he's hoping more families join in. I hope so. I post the cleanup, the cleanup on Saturdays where I'm going to be. And then it's always from three to four on Sunday that I'm that I'm doing the cleanup. This project means so much to Martinez. He's had a troubled past, some run-ins with the law, and he struggled with addiction. Today, he's clean and sober and in recovery. He says he owes it all to his faith and his family. He's grateful for this new life and a chance to give back. I think it's something that keeps me busy. Um, the community service is always a great thing. I know that it's an important part of my life as far as just keeping me on the right track and uh, teaching my kids the right things to do. Um, that, that just a little bit of community service goes a long way. He says he'll keep on working to clean up this community one bag of trash at a time. And we have a very, very, very beautiful uh, a place here in Idaho. And I just want to keep it that way for everybody, you know. Juan Martinez and his family. And that's kind of my ultimate goal is just to raise the awareness. Seven's Heroes. Juan, you are awesome. So is your family. That's wonderful. And if you'd like to join in the effort to clean up with the Martinez family, go to this story on KTVB.com and we will connect you with Juan's Facebook group. Isn't that great? Taking pride in his community and teaching his kids to do the same. Exactly. So heartening to see a family just taking it upon themselves to do that. But at the same time, it is so disgusting that they have to do that. 25 bags of I, trash. I just can't believe that people still haven't gotten the idea that you need to leave things cleaner than they were when you showed up. Yeah. Again, that's what the Girl Scouts taught me.